what's up guys um, I'm here working on the kayak and uh, I'm going to install I'm going to be installing uh, keel guard on my kayak today I got this uh, it was made by uh, Nathan Bessonette I believe uh, if I'm pronouncing his name right I'll put a link down in the description uh, to his Facebook page and um, it's made out of uh, kydex uh, I've heard of this being great for uh, like gun holsters and things like that so appears to be pretty tough it's got to be tougher than the plastic uh, the uh, plastic the kayaks made out of so watch as we put it um, first thing you do when you get the get the kit from him uh, it also comes with some guards for the rear I'm gonna put on also but he also sends you the marine grade 3m tape so that's what I got to do first I've uh, took some alcohol and I've wiped it down I've wiped the kayak down and the other two pieces get it good and clean get any kind of oils off of them now I'm gonna layer it with this tape one thing I'd like to add is uh, I've set my kayak up in the Sun out here and I've had these pieces sitting in the Sun to heat up warm up it's kind of it's not super cold today uh, where I'm at but I do know my experience of 3m tape if you don't know uh, it doesn't get warm enough it's never gonna stick so just a FYI there. And I'm probably putting way more than is needed, but I just want to make sure <coughs> that there's uh, no issues with it bonding and, and staying on for the life of the kayak. I like to launch my kayak at, at uh, the same boat launches that uh, I know you can't see it, but, but I launched my larger boat, and they're usually all concrete. So, I mean, nine times out of ten, I'm going to scrub the concrete before I get in, actually get in the kayak or or, uh, or get out of it. Uh, it's just, I don't know, no way around it. It happens every time for me. And I don't like having to worry about not doing that, because sometimes I kind of have to. And there are places that I fish that um, are pretty hairy, you know, got metal and stuff around it. So that helps. I want a clean install. That's the best I can get anyway. Um, I want it to look good. And just an FYI out there, so if you're watching this and it's like your first kayak and you're doing things like this, <clears throat> or installing, you know, anchor lines and anchor trolleys and stuff that you might be drilling holes in your kayak. Um, I heavily advise you to think that stuff through. Um, took a very expensive kayak once before, went mod crazy, ended up, I didn't really need half the stuff I did, it was just in the way. And when I went to sell that kayak, I almost just gave it away for the price. Take that. Strip all this off. Kind of a pain. <clears throat> Alright. Now that I got all the uh, marine tape on, I'm going to fit it to the kayak. Seem to fit on there really good actually. Let's get a better look. Um, there's the fit. Like I said, it is a little chilly here, so good fit. It'll I'm sure it's gonna heat up and be a better fit. And it perfectly covers the uh, section that had the scuff marks on it. So uh, let me get the other piece put on and I'll get some more shots. All right, here we 
are. These guards here, uh, see how much tape's on them? They're made to go just in front of the uh, these pieces here. There you go. And honestly, until uh, until I got these in and got to looking at my kayak, I didn't realize that I was so scuffed up in this area. So this is a great thing. It's amazing uh, what you don't pay attention to. And I know some may say, <coughs> well, you know, how much scuff does that section get? Look. This is where, I don't know if you can see that. Hope you can. Uh, but anyway, it's about, I mean, I can catch my fingernail on it. It seems deeper than I'm happy with. <laughs> but that's just where I was fishing in an area. And uh, literally, there was metal under the water. And I couldn't see it. It was like chocolate milk, very shallow water. And um, anyway, before I knew it, I found myself in it. So now, let me finish this off. A couple of points. This is all of the 3M tape that was left. Literally about an inch and a quarter on the roll and those are the pieces that I trimmed so uh, use it sparingly and uh, you should do well all right guys that is the keel guard and scuff guards for the rear from Nathan Bissonette appreciate it